So good. I'm on live now. Hey, good evening everyone. I'm Rana again from Rana Isim Cooking Channel. And hope you have a good, good, good night. Night here in the Philippines and I think part of the western is um morning mm -hmm. let's talk about how to uh, how much capital do you need to start a small canteen here in the Philippines I hope it can help to so many OFW who wanted to retire and to put up a, a business here in the Philippines in our country so I start uh, my capital to a 250,000 peso. I don't know how much it is in uh, US. Maybe, let me check. 52. I'm going to calculate how much it is. So, 250,000 250,000 divide uh, 52 Oh It's about 4,000 I don't know if it's correct or not 250,000 Four thousand plus US dollar. Four thousand, uh, four thousand eight hundred dollars. So it's a very small money to a Westerner, but to the Filipino people, it's a big money already. So I start for uh, from two hundred fifty thousand because I don't have anything uh, like. I don't have any utensils for the restaurant like plate, uh, pork, spoon, glass. Uh, that's the main things that you need in your restaurant. And then I don't have frying pan. I don't have stove. I don't have uh, what else. I don't have anything. I start from nothing before I put up the restaurant. But since I really need it, so... I put it in a list what things that I need so I don't spend so much money because I thought when I opened the restaurant I need only a capital for about 100,000 pesos but promise uh, I didn't know that I need more than more than that so uh, I, I after I bought everything uh, after I buy all the things in for the restaurant, then I compute the money. It's almost two hundred fifty thousand, uh, not including the capital for my foods. It's two hundred fifty thousand is only for the utensils that I need in the restaurant. So, all all in all, not including the. Uh, for the food is only 250,000 for the utensils, utensils that you need for the restaurant so I really like I'm shocked really shocked super shocked because I I only supposed to be put up about 100 100,000 uh, pesos for my business but to not sometimes you cannot expect how much how much money do you need it so you have to really save the money uh, if you wanted to retire and promise it's it's very hard from the beginning uh, especially you start um, alone so it's not so easy and 
how to say and also you have to consider that uh, you need to file a business permit from your local barangay also because uh, you have to what is it? Uh, wait up you have to check first if they allow your uh let's say your uh your building uh your building space you have to uh take the photo on that and pass it to the local government to so you can get the uh, barangay business permit so lower than six what i know is lower than sixty thousand uh capital you need to a barangay business permit but when when it's like more than more than 60,000 you need to go to the local government uh, may op office of the mayor to file the uh, mayor's business permit and you need to go to the you need to go to the BIR to check also file your income tax so you need to pay your taxes so yun ako promise hindi hindi easy yung magbukas ng isang restaurant na maliit dito sa Pilipinas. You need your effort, your time, and money. If you don't have money, if you don't have um, capital, uh, better not to try. If you only have like fifty thousand, you need to you need to save more. You need to work more in abroad so you can save your money huh? I don't know let me check let me check hope anyone can ask about it and then tell me tell me what you think if you have already a business correct me if i'm wrong tell me what you think if you have already a business so noisy from it what yeah so you cannot just bring everything so for me i really work and save me money when i was in singapore working there so when i um go back here to, to the philippines i know i can i can to me so i i really prepare the things and I'm very careful spending my money. Gamble your money without nothing to go. So, so scary. So, you have faith, you have strength, and you need your uh, focus your mind on your business. Because if not, you're, going, you're not going to be successful. So, that's uh, the important things that you need. And then, of course, uh, I told you already that you need a good place to put up your uh, restaurant. You need more uh, traffic. You need more traffic there so you can uh, you can attract the the customer. and you have a nice food also. You have to be Chosy when it comes to food quality that you're going to serve because um, there are so many uh, small content here in things. Then even though you get a, a second class family, you have to serve a good and delicious food also. So that's it for now. Hope you can uh, 
be with me next time it's not i'm sharing this to all of you so uh, you have an idea how do i start my small canteen and then uh, what else uh, so you have to save your money and you can come back here to the Philippines and be with your loved one because it's better to be with your loved ones than being so far away there is only an opportunity to stay here in the Philippines and you already have uh, savings to go back to the Philippines to be with your family then uh, grab that opportunity start your own business here gamble your uh, time to the business who knows maybe you're going to be successful rather than to work hard and abroad then still nothing when you come back here to the philippines so many ofw that they work longer in abroad working there so hard still when they go back to the philippines they have nothing so it's better earlier to save your money uh, think about retirement earlier and be with your loved ones because uh, there's no value and happiness that can buy uh, to that so I hope uh, everybody uh, how I start my business uh, even though it's a first step but so far so good my business so that's why my business so that's why i wanted to uh, share all of you how i start my business here in the philippines and um what's life for me after my working in abroad after i'm here now in the philippines so what life brings me here so I hope you can uh, join me next time again uh, to start a business in the Philippines. So, hoping, um, hoping everybody can join me again and uh, see what I'm, I can share, share all of you again. It's how to say it's really nice to work in abroad but being so far away with the family it's difficult so better uh now you work 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 there and then save your money um give uh think about retirement because if not where are you going to plan to retire in the philippines when you get old and still when I was in abroad, I was always thinking it's only to, it's going to be happening to OFW in abroad. It's either uh, you have you can save your money and destroy your family because, like, so many I have so many friends that they work for so long in abroad, then still their family, their kids, their children still. They never finish the school. They never finish their studies because, um, you know, there's no family that they can look after them. The father or the mother who was working abroad, they're so far away. Um, there's no one who can guide them and discipline them. So what happened is, to, how to say, uh, friends go partying until they go to drugs then the parents is still working hard and abroad sending money to their family then still there's no savings when they plan to go to retire because you know nobody hold the money nicely or they nobody how to say it's for me it's like because i don't have kids and i don't i'm not married so what i can say is it's only it's really the parang how to say hope you can 
everybody can understand that there's only two way of life for OFW. It's either you succeed in abroad, you, or rather you destroyed Oh, uh, expat paper. Yeah, I'm good. Thank you. Hello there, and thank you for watching. Um, I think you're my first viewer. I think, but thank you. Thank you so much. Ah, uh, yeah. So it's only two things that will happen to the OFW family. It's either you succeed in abroad, or you fail your family. You can have your broken family here because. Nobody will look up there. Nobody will, uh, as like for being a mother is like too, too difficult to be far away to your children because the touch, the care, and the love of the mother is different from the love of you know some relatives only who doctor their friends. So it's really better to save your money while you're in abroad. Be you can. What I did when I was in abroad is. I don't buy things that I don't need. I don't buy signature things when I was in abroad. I don't send. Oh, hi, sis Eden. Uh, hope I can guide this. Uh, so some Filipino people who work in abroad can go back here to the Philippines and have their own small business and be with their family because that's uh, aim of all the Filipino people after they work in abroad they wanted to save their money then after they so what happened and what I noticed is like so many people Filipino people working abroad is that they cannot um, retire earlier because that there's no savings in their pocket so I only wanted to share how I retire area. Since I'm only 46, I stopped I stop, uh, working two years ago in Singapore. So now it's going to be two years, I'm going to be two years here in the Philippines. And I could say uh, I'm not rich, but I can provide what I need, especially with my mom. I'm not... Uh, I'm not worried for about tomorrow because I save uh, for my future. So the best thing is what I said is when you wanted really to start your business here in the Philippines is you need, before you go back, of course, you need to see if you have already your money and pack it to the bank. Please don't allow people to borrow your money if somebody lend you make it sure that they will return it to you because that's one thing of the men i'd say it's a mental uh, mentality of the filipino you know, to help their extended family you cannot say cannot because we Philippine people we really have a big heart we really have a soft heart for other people what we think it's better we help other people before ourselves but i learned my lesson before i learned it from my experience when experience when uh when i was in very low how to say i really i don't have anything before i go to singapore uh I lost my job. My parents lost their job also at the Philippine Heart Center. And the bill, our bill for one week is almost half a million peso. So I said to the doctor, it's better to die my my father that time. Rather, I was thinking, where do I get to pay or get the money to pay my bills in the hospital? So that time my mother is already like, she's already she already considered that rona is there beside me and she know what she's doing so what for me is like as an only child it's like it's all my responsibility and i don't know where where to get the money because um we i have the savings that time but it's not really a big it's not really a big savings it's it cannot afford to buy things here in the philippines so 
after I solved everything from that time to my father, I decided to go to work in Singapore. Actually, I applied to country Dubai and Singapore, but I feel um, my height to go to Singapore big two times. I think I feel when they interview me because I'm short. I'm only for eleven, and when they uh, measure my height, it's like uh, it's a the office is carpeted it's thick like i think three inches high so when i step the the carpet were going to low so uh that's the reason that's why i feel my height but my boss yeah good to see you uh sis eden thank you hope to see you here in the philippines again when you have a vacation so just uh, contact me so we can meet up and maybe you can pastry and cake pastry cake and tea house it's on to be uh secret the place first but i am going to announce it where it is so uh hope i'm praying so that's it so when when the recruiter the singapore recruiters uh, measure my height they say oh you cannot go to singapore because your height is so short and you cannot do things but because um my uh, filipino recruiter asked me to apply again and they tell me that i'm really uh i can cook i'm really a good cook so they asked me again to reapply again so from that time uh, the uh, singapore recruiter asked me how to cook uh, chicken hainanese so i never tried cooking chicken hainanese here in the philippines but i know how to cook it so when they asked me to explain how to cook and they were surprised and then i think it's only about three weeks then i i applied to singapore so i didn't ex my plan to work in singapore is only two years i have only to save money for a business a small restaurant this is i have i own now so uh i said i only working there for two years i'm not going to extend my contract whatever going to be happen i'm going to go back after two years but it never happened because i have a good um relationship with my boss which is we become close uh they are really nice to me they um ask me to upgrade my baking um education there in singapore so uh they pay my my uh cooking le uh, baking lesson in one of the famous uh baking shop in cooking school in singapore so it's really i'm really um blessed about that so yeah so yeah since i've been in singapore working so i never changed any employer so after that i my boss always telling me rona you're alone you have your mother only after my father died so why don't you buy things like a uh, signature clothes why you don't uh, buy a very nice cloth like uh, I she always asked me she's only always wondering how come I, I really very wise to spend my money because it's every night like before we go to sleep we're always talking about it uh, because it's they wear so sexy one they wear jewelry when they have an off day and then uh they always send a big money to go to go back to the country and i explained to my boss that i'm i'm wise i really wanted to be wise to spend my money because i really wanted to go back to the philippines and be with my mom because she's alone here in the philippines and she's already 73 so she asked me uh, why i why i never go to other filipina to go hanging around i always be around be alone and i told my boss that because every day i go i spend so much money for that so I always said that it's better to be alone than to be with a group of the Filipina. Then you spend more than fifty dollars every time you update. So how much fifty dollars in Philippines? Ah, 
it's sin dollar here in the Philippines is almost 1,500 pesos. Pesos. So 1,500 pesos is really a big money. What about if I, if you keep your 50 dollars to your pocket? Just after I got to the church, I just stay in one uh, part and be there and rest and just for the relaxing. I don't really. When I was in Singapore, I don't really buy so many things because I'm not sending um, balik bayam box like other. Uh, oh, hi, hello. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, huh, wait. <laughs> it's this is my third time I think to be on live, and I'm really. I'm not used to it, promise, because it's been a while I don't uh, do YouTube channel because I was so busy the, um, running the business. So now I'm trying again. I think I missed to be on YouTube. Yeah, so what I did, I always explained to my boss what I really wanted to do in my life. I really, my aim is to go back soon to the Philippines and be with my mom put up my own restaurant and my mother always like telling me that uh, why you work like a carabao in Singapore in abroad you don't have kids you are not married you you don't have to support somebody and why you why you always like working in a carabao because every time I, I come back here in Singapore it's only a week like uh, uh, it's only I think it's only two two weeks. I already uh, that's already my longest stay in in the Philippines. Every time I have vacation, I have to go back to Singapore before Christmas. But I always um, explain to my mother that I need to go back to the to Singapore because I have already work. And one thing is, I really need to go back to Singapore because I'm running with my salary. <laughs> for December and the bonus because I really need to save it and so I can go back to uh, home cook food. Hi Jovelyn, thank you for watching. Hindi na magita. No, hindi kita nakakalimutan, promise. It's just uh I'm not used to it to do this, but but really I wanted to share. So Para, ma, para makatulong sa iba pa na since I have a uh, this is no I no no uh, yes I know I'm not, I I don't uh, kasi nga naging close na ako sa inyo because of uh, interaction on um, Facebook but it's just so happened that um, yeah I'm become busy especially when I was in Singapore sabi ko nga eh uh, nung nasa Singapore ako Every Sunday is my off day here in the Philippines. Sunday is I'm still working, but half day only because it's the demand of the customers. So I have so many customers every Sunday, but I make it assured that two o'clock in the afternoon I already close because I need to uh, my stop also to rest. So Monday we start again. Excuse me, we start again for new work. So yeah. So when I was in Singapore working there. Uh, I really saved my money. I told my boss, my boss, signature clothes. Who cares if you wear not signature clothes? Nobody will tell you that. Hey, you are not wearing Levi's uh, pants. You are not wearing jump pants because that's signature here already in the in the Philippines, right? In Asia. So I told my boss, nobody will tell me how my how much my clothes. That every time I go into my off day, so I, it doesn't matter to me. What I I do is like I really invest my money. So two years weekend is a money day. <laughs> oh yes, it's true. Jubilee weekend is a money day also in the restaurant. So uh, two years after, uh, nakakuha na ako agad ng townhouse sa Alexand sa Alessandra sa Al my mom only knows I don't really show it because uh, you know it's 
it's a personal thing so i really don't like to be sh- to show up so after na save ko talaga yon what that's one of my investment after two years now so even my boss uh thinking na really how can you save like that because you know um it's like my boss was wondering because the first uh the first things that they think is uh the filipino people always send the money to their uh, family to uh, send their children to the school or you know first for clothing for the food but for me it's not because i have only my mother so my mother also has pigs here in the philippines she never stopped uh uh how to look look she, ne- she never stop about the pigs she still continue and until, now until last two, three weeks ago the government they uh confiscated our our all pigs and they kill it because of the applicants so it's sad but nothing to do we cannot do anything because that is already the uh, limiter um area they will need to kill all the pigs there so um my our pigs is already including even though there's no swine people but they still kill it so we surrender we surrender all the pigs so we don't surrender we surrender all the pigs so we don't have pigs now our pig pen is empty so i have only the restaurant now we focus there so that's it so uh after two years i get the townhouse then uh i continue saving so i said up after my boss going to be survived on that cancer i really need to go to back to go back to the peace Philippines and look after my mom and I really need to put up the restaurant even though it's small but the first time is I'm scared to to put up that one because I'm scared to gamble my money later what if I fail I said what if I fail where do I get money again do I have to go back to abroad again to work again and save again because I'm already getting old I'm not young anymore and I'm scared I cannot do it anymore to work in uh another country so i said it's better to stay in the philippines i really don't like to be working there for so long and then nothing so i i don't really also wanted to go back to any country because uh, i'm scared really i'm scared to go to another country my plan to work another country again after my singapore so i focus my my attention my time to the restaurant so so far it's really good it's a good business here um how to say money is good also uh it's it's fast the money there it's really rolling fast you only need to be uh industrious and creative when it comes to food so so many small canteen here in the in the philippines that you know um how to say it's like compete ko uh, talagang kompetensya sa sa negosyo so it's not really easy and then yeah i need that i i spend for the restaurant after i buy the, the utensils all my things because i don't as i said i don't have anything i don't have plates i don't have sub stove so i was surprised that i really need all this kind of things and then i was can i buy a small frying pan can i buy a but my mom's the first time uh we we about that is when i buy a big pot for my bulalu for my it's bulalu is a beef uh soup here it's a, a bone marrow beef soup so I wanted to buy a big pot, the the large pot that can cater about uh, 50 people. Then my mother said, you know, need to buy a very big one because maybe there's no uh, people go to your restaurant in it. So I was, oh no. And then my ma- my mother, she's super supportive to me, but she maybe a feeling or a doubt that i can make it because um she think i'm 
how to say that? Para bang palagi akong naka ano sa kanya yung nakasanda sa kanya. She think I'm always uh I'm always follow what she wanted to do, but I'm not I'm I'm a little bit hard-headed sometimes. So what I think, what I want is that I'm going to follow. I'm sometimes I listen to my mom, but sometimes I don't promise. <laughs> Because if not, if I all, I feel like I, if I always follow her decision, I feel like I'm this to buy. Okay, I'm not going to buy a very big uh, pot. I'm going to buy a medium size. So now, <laughs> yeah, I promise to my baby. So, uh, uh, I think so. Yeah, she think like that to me. My customer now now she telling me that I need to buy the the big really big size of the pot and I said uh, it's not easy now to buy a big uh, pot because I cannot uh, I cannot just easy go to the market I cannot just you know leave the the cash cashier without somebody who look after them because yeah one thing if you have the business don't trust anyone easily you hold your money in pocket with you uh know how much the expenses that you're going to uh out that day and compute it every night and see how much all the remaining balance because you need to be very careful to your income Because you have ops, you have to consider every month I'm paying the rent of the land, it's 3,000 pesos. And every month I need to pay the rental, oh no, not, not the rental, the electricity and then the water. So you cannot, you cannot just ignore the three of the things because that's the important. So you need always to uh, save the money for to pay that and for the gas the shilling because the shilling here i used to kind of yeah i think yes 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 sis and then uh promise i was so blessed for that she helped me cooking she helped me she helped me in so many things she helped me to uh to the marketing also she's my runner It's because I have uh, five stuff now, but I cannot, you know, just trust somebody to go to the market to buy things for me or handle the cashier uh, for me. I have one assistant. She, you know, um, it's on my other video on YouTube, and I teach her how to uh, scoop all the food and compute for me and then i'm the one who uh take the money to change for the customer and because you know even it's your family even it's other people you cannot just trust it's difficult it's really difficult so i already talked to tess if she can handle I'm going to give her a contract so I can open uh, another shop again and uh, see what we can. Uh, I'm going to give her a bargain about if she's going to handle my old uh, restaurant because I'm going to be busy to the other uh, shop. So I already talked to my mom if she still can handle alone to the old shop. She said that. Yeah, she still can. She's she's still healthy. Promise, my mom's still healthy. She's still strong, and I hope I'm praying that she still, you know, continue to have a long life. And I was so blessed, blessed about it. And yeah, so now, uh, every day our food is sold sold out. Yes, it's true. Every, I was so blessed also that I have so many customers every day. Our food, <laughs> yeah, um, 
maybe one of this day I'm going to be uh, on live while I'm cooking things um, because things um, because um, we open the restaurant uh, 6 a.m. then 6 30 6 30 a.m. we have already the customer and it's continue until in the afternoon until we have food to serve uh, we cook three times a day um, three times a day um, sometimes I already to told my mom or my auntie to stop cooking already because we are so tired and I have to go to to the grocery I don't buy my food uh, to the local market I buy to the to pure gold Monterey store and pure gold I only buy um, vegetable to the market I don't really yes I don't buy meat to the local market to the wet market i don't uh like to buy there just i don't like uh everybody asks me why i don't go to the um wet market to the local market to buy all my meat because they say pure gold is um expensive but it's not actually i'm i I am a member of Iron Pudding on Pure Gold Supermarket on Pure Gold Supermarket and I have a reward for that and then I use my mother's uh, senior citizenship for the discount of 65 uh, it's 65 pesos that and nowadays because we have a swine fever here in the, in Manila it's uh the pork meat is more cheaper in pure gold but since i don't cook meat nowadays we don't serve meat uh pork in our restaurant i think it's going to be two months now or yeah more than one and a half months now we don't uh serve meat pork so we serve the chicken uh meat so now i I compare the price of the chicken from the local market to the grocery. It's more cheaper in the grocery. Uh, the kilo of uh, the price kilo of chicken by 186 per kilo, which is 190 to the local market. So it's more expensive. So that's why I think it's better to buy to the grocery. Sometimes you have to compare, even though I don't buy uh, meat the local market i still comparing the i hope everybody um learns something about what it's like i'm talking nonsense but i hope everybody will found it important so you know so i can help who everyone who wanted to uh retire earlier here in the philippines to uh put their small business to start them actually i have the extension of my uh restaurant i put a small sari sari store there is uh selling yeah it's it's not really a complete sari sari store but I still have uh chips uh wine like i was we serve beer now before i don't uh sell beer to the restaurant now we already sell beer but i make it a point that it's lower than to the other restaurant so i think i uh, my price is lower than a uh, little bit about i think i'm selling lower than 250 maybe or two pesos so that's why i have more customer to come to my restaurant even though my before I don't sell a uh, beer, we don't uh, serve, but now we already serve because uh, some customer they, you know, asking for beer. Like after, uh, after they eat lunch or sometimes they just for relaxing. So that's why we serve beer. But in my restaurant, we serve free juice. So, uh, yeah, even before we don't sell soft drinks there, but now because some customer also demanding for the soft drinks, so we serve soft drinks. But we still have a pre juice. Some uh, before we have a pre 
um, iced tea. So sometimes we change. Sometimes it's pineapple juice. Sometimes it's um, melon juice or iced tea. So we have a pre juice and yeah, we we sell also a uh, value meal also for you know sometimes people cannot afford the regular meal. So we have like um what we call that it's top silog like um what we call that it's top silog long silog or ham silog so we have like that. really wanted to uh put up a business in the Philippines you really need to decide to stop working in abroad and save your money and go back to country if there is only an opportunity here I would say Philippines is still a good country, um, although, although the traffic is so headache nowadays here, really, it's a headache. That's why I don't really go out from Payatas. I'm only in Payatas, okay? Payatas is not a bad place here in Quezon City. It's not smelly, it's not... Uh, the old uh, dump site here before is already closed. I think uh, been maybe five years now closed. So it's not already a smelly. It's a clean uh, area now. So, but I'm along the highway to go to Montalban. So I'm, I'm far away from the Piatas because Piatas is a big uh, place. So, uh, Sabi mo lang sa akin, then susunduin kita. Actually, I I have already uh, foreigner visitors here. And it's so, uh, David is also on YouTube. And uh, we meet here in the Philippines. So I teach her in Pali because uh, I allow her, I allow him to chose to try the, our uh, famous uh, chicken wings barbecue. Ay, sayang. Ang layo. Maybe, maybe, let's see, maybe we can meet in Cebu. Maybe, um, uh, maybe, malay mo, makapunta ng Cebu, ba? So, I was in Cebu last year, so, maybe, I can go back there again. So, we we'll see. Oh, sana may singit mo sa schedule para makapunta, makita tayo at makapunta ka rito. So, nakakatawa kasi yun. Dahil nga, nung pinatikin ko kay David yun, yung chicken wings barbecue namin, tsaka yung pork chop uh, barbe- uh, barbecue, hindi ko akalain na magugusto niya. Sabi niya sa akin, uh, hapon na yun eh. So, sabi niya sa akin, after 5 o'clock, ayaw na niya mag So, only one rice. So, naka, ako ko lang two rice ata si David noon. Tapos, after noon, umalis na siya, bumalik na siya sa hotel niya, sabi niya, kumain siya sa mang inasal. So, pinag-compare niya yung lasa ng chicken wings barbecue namin at saka yung sa mang inasal. And, he told me that it's more nicer. So, I was just, oh, okay, but, uh, nabanggit ko yun. So, so many, my customer telling us that, they call the restaurant Mang Inasal. So, every time na sal in Payata. So, that's so funny. Palagi nilang kino-compare kasi yung Mang Inasal. So, yung uh, chicken wings barbecue ko, pre ng one rice yun with pre-juice and pre-soup. So, yung soup namin, uh, so, three choices lahat ng kumakain sa amin. So, yung meron kaming bulalo soup na pre sa lahat ng kumakain. And then we have the pre papaitan. Papaitan is um better soup na made from intestine of the beef. So I think one of the famous here in the Philippines also. So we have that. It's the we have also we also serve a pre soup for that. And uh, we have the sinigang. So our sinigang soup is very different from in mang inasal. Yung sa mang inasal, talagang plain lang siya na may asim na soup. Yung sa amin is may bone yun, ng spare ribs bone or ng uh, chicken bone. So, uh, I could say it's better kasi mas may taste. So, hindi lang naman ako nagsasabi na yung mga customer also. Excuse me. Na yun. 
So yun. So hoping na sana ma I can help other OFW na yung makakuha ng idea to save yun nga yung sa, save nila yung money nila so they can start like here uh, in the Philippines with the with small business here. So hi Jobilin sana nga uh, magkita tayo sa na maisingit mong makarating dito sa Pilipinas sa Manila para you know ma I'm going to invite you it's uh pre lunch for you or a uh, dinner I'm not uh I'm not sure about the dinner because uh as I said we open 6:30 a.m. and then we close the, the earliest that we open is until 1:30 p.m. in the afternoon because uh the food is already sold sold out by that time so I'm already trying to cook more but it's still the food it's not long get long and long last until about 4 p.m. It's already finished by about 1 30 that's the longest hour that we have our bulalo I cook about um, almost 30 kilos a day or until about 40 kilos a day of bulalo every day so we finish that Oh, actually, in, no, hindi, no, hindi ako malulugi sa inyo. Actually, katulad nung, uh, misa kasi mga barangay or pumupunta rito sa so isang group sila sa mga barangay. So, nagbibigay talaga ako ng mga discount. And then, katulad nung nagkabit, every month almost ata bago yung aking signboard. Palagi ang may sponsor like Globe, uh, we have the PLDT. So, yung nagkakabit no, hindi lang naman isang tao tatlo. So, I always ask na after, kasi it's a pre-sign board. They have sponsor us. So, palagi ko silang pinapakain para lang sila nagpa-party. Diba? Hi, the, oh, yes, here just eating dinner. It's already quarter to 11 uh, PM here in the Philippines in Manila so thank you for watching David hi my darling thank you so much and then what um, and then what um, yeah it's better to give some things actually uh, tatlong tatlong mall tatlong grocery yung nagsusupply, nagsusupply sa akin ng beef it's the uh, Pure Gold Montalban, Pure Gold Commonwealth, and then Robinson Montalban. So, sila yung mga yung nag-supply uh, sa akin ng beef for my uh, bulalu, yung bonaro. So, uh, tugot kasi yun, is Aluja's Bulaluhan Noodles and Grill House. So, Pag along, papunta siya ng Montalban, ako lang yung may bulaluhan dito sa Payatas na highway. No, uh, walang ibang bulaluhan dito. Kundi, makikita naman niya may umuusog doon kasi may nagbigil na ako ng chicken wings. Uh, dati may pork chop ako. Ngayon nga kasi, ano, kape. Sabi, yeah, yes. Uh, sabi mo lang na uh, sabi mo lang yung name mo na sabi mo lang para alam ko. So, para matikman niya yung bulalo namin. Bulalong pinagmamalaki ko. Talagang pinupuntahan pa ng malala yung mga customer ko. So, yeah. And then, OFW na uh, so ha, para makastart sila ng small business here in the Philippines. So, they can go back to their uh, loved ones here. I'm really blessed to retire earlier I before sabi ko uh, sabi ko nga before uh, I really don't like to go back to abroad again after I retire anymore because I wanted to be here I love my country even it's a heavy traffic even they have a uh, uh, drive-by bus here I still love my country uh, it's a democratic country uh, we have freedom here. You can sleep 
until you wanted to sleep. There's no there, there's no stress here in, in, in the Philippines. I think you can have a stress on here if you you are lazy people here and you are it's easy to spend but it it's how uh your life more to sa ano sa Pilipinas but still Philippines is a good country um it's more better now than before promise um now uh it's more clean but it's heavy traffic that's my complaint it's heavy traffic super so if you go to your work outside uh your in manila you have to go earlier so you can reach there earlier also if not you'll be in trouble with your boss so anyway i'm going to sleep because tomorrow i need to go back to work again early I, oh, the problem only is you need to get up same also when you working abroad you have to wake up 5 a.m in the morning to prepare everything for your work here also with your own business you have to wake up early also sleep uh, sleep late also to finish everything you have to uh, compute check the le less of the things that you need to get and check your stuff see one thing the headache is your stuff my poor stop. <laughs> Sometimes they are not coming forward. They never tell me earlier. And then it's headache because you don't have enough server. And there's no dishwasher. So sometimes that's really headache for me. But uh, I still can handle it. You need to be adjust for this kind of things and be ready for this kind of uh, problem. But so far so good and hoping I can open the next shop again and so I can help other people also. Uh, I'm going to hire people. Uh, I don't know how, how many people I need to hire but I really need it again, again also. And uh, yeah, hope uh, uh, clear to all the clearances because for uh, watching me hope really we can meet again and come to my restaurant it's a small restaurant uh it's not the building is not nice i'm not oh somebody is asking me why i never um uh, fix or do the restaurant a nice uh building my answer is this before i start the restaurant i was thinking i'm not going to um yeah i tell her about uh yeah about your regards and then i didn't uh fix a really nice uh building because uh as you can see i'm in payatas and i i always tell myself i'm going to cater poor filipino people who cannot afford to go to a big restaurant or expensive restaurant here once a week i cook international food like um sometimes i cook a uh, fish head curry which is famous in singapore i have a uh, chicken uh filipino style uh no it's a chicken uh thai philippine style i also cook some westerner food because uh, I I want them to taste a nice food with a cheaper price but a delicious and fresh and different uh, presentation. So that's what I aim before. That's why uh, mostly in the morning my customer is all uh, middle class. They you know they have a nice car. They park in in the in front of the restaurant. So they are not hesitant to go inside because it's all uh, one level they i don't care if uh, they are poor i don't care if they are uh, dirty as long we serve uh, we serve same things so that's uh, my answer for that that's why my restaurant is not really uh, nice 
chicken fried. Yeah, we have um we have a chicken fry we cater that also uh we have the um drumstick fried chicken so uh we do that uh, once a week mm, we have uh we have the noodles chicken noodles in the morning i have the uh beef noodles also in the, uh, our beef noodles is uh for the whole day so until we have the beef uh the beef we have the noodles it's called mommy here in the philippines uh the style is like uh japanese noodles so i have that the whole day until we have the beef soup uh so we serve that yeah what else so that's it so hope i can uh how to say that <laughs> onion spring onion and chicken rice yes we have we use our uh, spring onion uh we use onion we also use the spring onion for our beef also and onion we use also red onion and white onion here Uh, yes um, we cater also Chinese here we have the sweet and sour fish here we have also uh, I also cook Vietnam Vietnamese style food here fish oil uh, yes we have also we have uh, every day we make it sure that we have fish also because some people they don't like to eat meat so like me i don't eat meat um before because everybody know i was a uh, vegan so i don't eat meat but sometimes i forced to eat meat because my mom doesn't like to eat without meat so i have to force myself to eat meat so we make it sure that we have fish every day <laughs> really anyway uh, yeah i hope anyone i can invite uh to come to the restaurant i give you free meal just to try and just it that if it's nice or not um uh that's my uh say my invitation to all of you to all my friends on youtube to all my youtuber who wanted to come here to the philippine even filipino people who wanted anyone uh i think uh jenny lean uh from forgot uh yearly they come here to help me to feed the kids or uh, she always uh taste my food um wait i forgot her uh, youtube channel they come here with uh, her pan and they always try my food so i hope they i hope i'm praying that this year she can come also with her family to help me to feed the kids also and give uh i'm i'm not sure if i still can do it because i plan something different this year Anyway, I have to go. Uh, see you again maybe next day or tomorrow if I'm not really busy. So I can share again. Uh, we talk again. So thank you so much for watching and uh, have a good night because it's night here and have a good day to all of you who's um, in other any uh country thank you thank you so much to all of you anyway i have to go and bye bye again bye thank you to all who watching watching thank you bye that's me